Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Hastings and I will be performing your cranial nerve exam today. We will be conducting this test in the style of ASMR. ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response and it is a name that has been used to describe the pleasant, tingly feeling that is primarily located on the top of the head and oftentimes radiates out towards the whole body and this feeling, this sensation is triggered by certain sounds such as crinkling packaging, nails tapping on various objects and even personal attention from say a hairdresser, a massage therapist or a clinical practitioner. So, if you can just confirm your name, your age and your address, we can get started. Perfect, thank you. So a cranial nerve exam tests all of your senses and the first sense that we will be starting with today is your sense of smell. On my table beside me I have bottles of liquids scented with familiar smells and what I would like you to do is to take a sniff of each one and tell me what you can smell. Okay? So, the first bottle, I would like you to close your eyes and then I would like you to take a deep breath in through both nostrils and for the others I will ask you to close each nostril in turn. and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and tell me what you can smell. Perfect. Very good. The next smell. I'd like you to close one nostril. Close your eyes. Breathe in. Tell me what you smell. Breathe in. Good. Perfect. The last bottle. Would you be able to close your other nose, nostril? and just identify for me what this one is. Deep breath in. Excellent. Correct. Can I ask you if you smoke at all? Okay, that's fine. So the next sense that I will be testing is your sense of taste. So here I have little individual pots and they are filled with liquid which has been scented or flavoured with something either sweet, sour, bitter or salty. So again, I'd like you to take, to close your eyes 
and I'd like you to take a sip of each of these liquids. I don't want you to swallow them, I want you to just rinse it around your mouth and then spit it out in the sink next to you. You may refresh your palate after each one with a nice glass of water. This just helps to rinse out the palate ready for the next liquid. Okay? So, I can ask you to take a sip and tell me after you've spat the liquid out if that was sweet, sour, bitter or salty. Perfect. I will leave this glass of water just on the side there for you so you can rinse your mouth out at your convenience, okay? Ready for the next one? And you can just take a sip and tell me if that is sweet, sour, bitter or salty. Good. Okay, are you ready for the next one? Good. Yes. Correct. Fine, tell me when you're ready. <laughs> yes, they do taste very, fairly disgusting. I do apologise. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Mm hmm Excellent. Four out of four. So now I would like to just test the sensitivity of your face. I will just gently be touching various points on your face with a soft object and then a sharp object and I want you to tell me when and where you feel this pressure on your face. It won't hurt at all. Um, the sharp object is just pointy so it will be more of a pressure on your face rather than a jab, so to say. So, we're going to start with a nice soft brush and if you can just close your eyes for me and I want you to tell me where you feel me touching you on your face with the brush, okay? Good. 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 Excellent. Good. Good. Can open your eyes. Well done. I now have a little pointer and I would like you to do the same thing. Wherever I touch you on your face, I want you to tell me exactly where it was. Okay? And if you can just shut your eyes once again. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. 
good. Perfect. Next I'm going to take a very cool and cold object. I have a tuning fork here and it's very cold. And I would like to do the same thing. Shut your eyes and I'm going to be just gently pressing the circular pad of this tuning fork on various points on your face. Okay? Ready? wonderful, thank you. You can open your eyes now. Well done. Now I'd like to just check your muscles around your jaw. Sometimes we can experience TMJ or tension around the jaw. This sometimes can cause headaches or have a knock-on effect for other problems associated with our head. So if you can just relax for me, I'm just going to be feeling the muscles around your face and your jaw. Just gently pressing on them and if this hurts at all, please let me know, okay? Very good. Now I'm going to put some light pressure. Now, could you just clench your jaw for me by pressing your rows of teeth together, just like that? Okay, does that hurt at all? Okay. Now if I can ask you to open your mouth and try and keep it open as I'm going to try and close it, okay? I won't push too hard but just resist me closing your mouth, okay? Good, just keep that mouth wide open. Okay, perfect. And if you can keep your mouth open, your jaw down, I'm going to try and move it from side to side and again if you can just resist this as much as you can, okay? Wonderful. Good. Yep, just resist it as best as you can. Okay. Good. That's perfect. So your jaw muscles and everything in your jaw seem to be working perfectly, so that's very good. Now I'm just going to test a couple of your facial nerves and I'm going to ask you to pull some silly faces. So if you can just raise your eyebrows for me as high as they will go. Mm -hmm. Yep, just keep it there for me. Perfect. And if you can just frown as hard as you can as so. well. Good. Excellent. And if you can just shut your eyes and screw them up as hard as you can, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and open them with my fingers. And if you can just resist once again, me trying to open your eyes, that would 
be great. Okay, so scrunch them up. Good. Wonderful. That's perfect. Thank you. And now if you can give me a big broad smile like that. Excellent. Okay, good. And if you can just purse your lips as if you were going to whistle. Okay. Good. Perfect. And now if you can just puff out your cheeks with air. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Perfect. You can relax now. Thank you. Okay. So now I'd like to test your hearing. And for that, what I'd like you to do is just close your eyes and I'm going to be whispering a number in each of your ears. Now at first I want you to just repeat these numbers back to me and as the test progresses I'm going to be introducing different stimuli into each ear as sort of interference, so to say. And I still want you to tell me and identify each of the numbers that I whisper to you. This helps me to determine whether or not you can hear things well in noisy environments or whilst other sounds are going on, okay? So if you can just close your eyes I will be walking around you just to get your sense of um, hearing from different distances and um, different angles, so to say. Okay, good. So I'm just going to whisper straight numbers to you and then I'm going to introduce a stimuli. Okay? That's perfect, well done. So now I'm going to introduce a stimuli in one ear and I want you to identify the numbers that I will be whispering to you. Okay, so I'm just going to cup one of your ears and make some sounds too and I'm going to whisper in this ear and you just need to tell me what number
the other way. You just be cupping both ears and I'm going to be repeating the same thing. It's fairly difficult to hear once your ears have been covered or blocked but some people can hear and we like to just test how well your hearing is, okay? Alright, so now I'm going to just be doing some words instead of numbers. So the next test I would like to conduct is to just gently vibrate this tuning fork here and just place it near your ear. I want you to tell me when you stop hearing it and what I'll do is I'll just cover one ear and test each ear separately. Okay? again.
to vibrate the tuning fork once again and I'm just going to place it directly on your forehead okay just tell me again when you stop hearing the vibration okay One more time. Excellent. Thank you. Perfect. So the last test that I will be conducting is your sight. So first, what I'd like to do is just take an overall look at you just to see your facial symmetry if you can just look straight at me okay that's great perfect and now I'm going to just be checking your pupils the reaction and dilation they have to light so I have here my trusty pen torch and what I'd like you to do is just look straight at me and don't look anywhere else whilst I just shine this light across your eyes it shouldn't hurt too much just be a little bit uncomfortable but just let me know if it hurts okay good excellent Just keep looking straight at me. Perfect. Good. Good. Excellent. And now what I would like you to do is just to follow the light. Just follow the light where I move it to. Don't take your eyes from it and just follow it round and round. Good. Ready? Keep following it. Just keep following the light as it moves around you. Good. Wonderful. Just keep following it. And now, if I can ask you to identify certain numbers that I hold up. And what I would like you to do is look straight at me. Don't look anywhere else. And I want you to tell me how many fingers I'm holding up in your peripheral vision. Mm -hmm. And here we go. 
good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. Good. 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 Excellent. Good. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. And the same again, but this time I'm going to be waggling, wiggling my finger. And I'm going to do various still ones and moving ones. And I want you to tell me when I move it, when I move my finger. Good. Good. Thank you. So now if we can move over to our Snell and Chart over here, I'm just going to briefly check the distance of your sight. Can I ask you if you wear eyeglasses at all? Okay, great. So if we can move over to the Snell and Chart over on the wall here. So if I can ask you to just identify the letters on this Snellen chart. I will be pointing to various letters and if you can just tell me what they are. At first I would like you to keep both eyes open. Then if I can ask you to place a hand over each eye and again I will point to your letters to identify. Okay, so with both eyes open, can you read me this letter? Good. This letter. Good. This letter. Good. This letter. This letter. How about something at the bottom? This one? Okay. Now if I can ask you to cover one eye and we'll repeat the process. This letter. Mm-hmm. This one. How about this one? And this one. Can you read any of the bottom letters? Okay. And now just cover up the other eye for me. One more time. Good. 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 Excellent. Mm -hmm. 
Schultern. on the bottom okay perfect thank you very much so that is our cranial nerve exam complete for today thank you very much for coming in to see me I will send you the results of your cranial nerve exam through the post but I have concluded that there is nothing wrong and you are perfectly healthy and everything is perfect. So don't forget to book your appointment for next year and I will see you then. Until then, take care and goodbye.